Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is continue to take a look at the powerful CAD system called Solid Design provided by 1CNC. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on a tool called the Pages command, and in this video we're going to demonstrate how we can use the Pages command to easily create prints from a solid model. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here and select our Pages option. Once we do that, we're presented with this Pages dialog box, and we're going to need to create a page first. Now, this is where we're going to select a template for our print. So we're going to click Add Page. Now, you can select from these different templates, or you can make your own template if you'd like. I'm going to use this A2 template right here, and then click OK. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see what we have here. So there's the template of the print that we're going to be using. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to start adding views of our solid model on our screen here. So I'm going to use this option called top view and there's the preview of the solid model. I'm going to say place view on page. I'm going to take my cursor and just left hand mouse click right there. Now let's create a front view. So I'm going to use front view, place view on page. Now we have these nice little grid lines so we can line everything up nicely. I'm going to just left click right there and there's the front view. How about a right hand view? There, again, there's the preview, place view on page. I'm going to put that one right about there. How about isometric? There's an isometric view, so I'm going to use place view on page, and I'm going to place that right about there. We're going to click OK to that. Now another thing you can do is you can create cross-section views if you'd like to. Let's demonstrate how to do that. If you click on these arrows, you can easily switch between page space and model space. So there's model space right there. And in fact, why don't we create an arc? I'm just going to place an arc there and maybe another one right there. And why don't we use our extrude cut command? I'm just going to blast a couple of holes through that. Now, if we go back into our page space and if we bring back our dialog box and choose this option called update page, you can see now that the print has updated in all four views there, including those circles. But let's talk about that cross-section view. We're going to go back here, and I'm going to change my construction plane. And why don't we change that to the, let's go with the XZ construction plane. And I'm also going to use the move command, and I'm going to snap my construction plane right there. Now, just so you can see the construction plane, let's tick that radio button. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a section view using that construction plane. So let's go back into our page space. We're going to bring our dialog box back up. And we're going to use this option here called create section from plane. Once I do that, the section gets added right here. If I highlight that, it shows us the cross section along with the cross hatching. And I'm going to choose this option called place view on page and I'm just going to place that right there. And then we'll click OK to that. Now, you saw earlier that everything is dynamic here. So if I were to go back into model space, and if I were to make a change, in fact, let's take our construction plane and put that back to the default XY. If I were to make any changes on the model now, regardless of what we're doing, our print is going to update. So if I create a shape like this, and if we go to our extrude, let's say extrude cut, and just cut that through there, that looks good. Let's take that geometry and delete that. And then if we head back into our page space, bring back up our dialog box, and use the update, you'll see that everything updates there. Now at this point, if you want to, you can add dimensions. Now, the way we add dimensions is exactly like we did in the very first video. I'm not going to completely dimension this, but I just want to demonstrate that we can go back in here to vertical dimension, for example, and you can zoom in and zoom out. You can even rotate if you want to. And I'm just adding some different dimensions on here. And if we go to radial dimension. So you can, you can see that this is working exactly like it did uh, in the earlier video in which we were just dimensioning wireframe geometry. Alright, so the pages function 
within one CNC solid design is very powerful and it's designed to quickly create prints from solids and surfaces. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.